Hey everyone, welcome back to StarCraft. We have just finished the Terran campaign and now we're going to move on to the Zerg campaign! Zerg campaign, Overmind. The swarms have crushed the meager human resistance and laid waste to 9 of the 13 Terran worlds. Ooh, that was, um... It worked pretty quickly. Shortly after the fall of the Terran capital world, Tarsonis, the main Protoss fleet, abandoned the Terran sector. Look at that. Now, efforts continue on Tarsonis to weed out the remaining Protoss forces. Oh, pretty neat, man. Among the ruins, Confederate capital world Tarsonis. Okay, there we have it. The hatchery is the heart of any Zerg colony. It spontaneously generates larva, which in turn are used to spawn your various warriors and minions. Now, create a drone and start gathering resources. Sexy these are Oh, we need old boards. Uh, is it? Oh? Man, that's way over there. I see this is like the new um control for your minions. As your forces grow in number, you must hatch more overlords to control them. You have enough minerals. Select a lava and mutate it into an overlord. Yeah, I was gonna set ahead of you. Um So this is a pre-order skin for the Zerg buildings that I got for um Anyways, um, yeah, that's the pre-order skin. There's like a volcano. It's pretty cool. It's, it's rad tad. Uh, and I think that's all I had to say about that. So how are you guys doing? It's Saturday morning for me. Uh, just finished my regular routine. I need to move this so I can see that. It's like 50 people over. Um, typically, I do most of my recording on the weekends. I think that's already been established. I don't think that's anything new for you guys. Order your drone to become a spawning pool. That's 200, man. I can't afford that. that structures can only implant themselves upon the creep. Thank you. Do not want to play Zerg, though. That's good. The tutorials won't last forever. Creep colonies to extend the creep. But only a hatchery can be built upon the open ground. I shall probably build a creep colony as well. We need to defend ourselves from pesky marines. And we're gonna need gas guys for two. Oh, that was insane. Oh, it's so typically Saturdays are my sleep in days. Sundays I'll play Dungeons and Dragons. And Friday I like to, I think I'm gonna have a recording at Castlevania. So that's pretty nice. No complaints there. Right, we're gonna need anti air. So we'll build another creep colony. But I think we need the evolution chamber. We'll build up there. Oh, we're gonna need another overlord as well. 
Whoopsie doodles. Alright, so sunken colony. And you'll be another sunken colony. I was gonna make sure I don't get bamboozled by the enemy forces early on in the game. Which I think can happen on this map. It's been a while since I've really played though. We got a lot of minerals, so I don't think that's gonna be a problem. But we're gonna need a evolution chamber. There we have it. That's the enemy base. Probably like the remnants of the Confederates. There's not much more of them. Manx is now basically in power, which is uh, not good for us. But we have our defenses up, so we don't have to worry about anything else. And then during the weekdays, I work. I have a regular, like, not 9 to 5 job. So I usually get in about um, uh, like 7.30. Here, we'll actually build here. And I think we can use more, um, uh, more drones. I want to get a rip roaring economy. And then we like to get some, uh, some hydros for sure. And probably one more creep colony just for good measure. Throw that there. Uh, our zerglings are pretty weak right now because they're gonna be unupgraded, and they're just zerglings. Look at that! Man, the porch look cool and everything. So this is about my, you know, bit about my routine. I like to work, so that's, you know, helps keep me a little fit. Um, and not a whole lot to say. Saturdays is basically my days. It's like, you know, egg on top of like domestic abilities, or domestic abilities, domestic chores, or um. Um, like stuff like record. Like I want to do a lot of recording, and that's the thing. I real I came to the realization that I need to record like seven episodes because I want to do one at least one of these per day, so mission a day. But then I realized that there's a lot of Starcraft content. Like I'm gonna have like okay, well, two reasons is very threatening. Yeah, I don't know why he was doing trench attack, but he didn't really do a very good job now, did he? I mean, if I put one more creep colony here just for extra defense. And so our gas um, economy is doing pretty good. Or mineral economy, we just need to get a gas economy, though. But now we can start getting some zerglings, we're going to start getting some upgrades. So that's pretty good. And I, the thing is, so normally instead of recording like StarCraft Remastered, because this is a bit of a unique exception, is that I'll record like StarCraft 2 videos, but those will be, um, those are pretty quick and easy to record. Like I can hammer out in one evening, usually like seven videos, so I can be able to record one day, or one evening rather, but for this it's, um, because these missions are a lot longer, it takes more time to record them, which is fine. Because, you know, if I if this was something I had to do long term, I'd be like, ah, but really, I only have to play through the campaign, then I'm, I'm, I'm okay. And we're gonna want that as well. So I guess we're gonna mass the until we get like a healthy enough hydrolysis count. And at that point on, we're gonna um, probably just steamroll the enemy. So, our mission objectives? Yeah, it's Shred Terrence. Pretty easy. Get relevant upgrades. You don't need burrow. And once you get Zerglings, we're gonna be in a much better spot. The Ore Lord. We're gonna be getting. Uh, oh, and we have the Hydra's upgrades too. Alright then. Um, yeah, we definitely want the attack range. I think that's going to be important. Then we want the speed too. 
upgrade these suckers as quickly as possible. Let's see how these hydras look. It's okay in the way! Yeah, two marines isn't very intimidating. And again, like, this is gonna be an easy first mission because there's not a um, Like, it's just marines, basically. Or, um, just marines, basically. That doesn't even make sense. Basically, all I want to say is I'm not concerned. And I probably should have gone to the piece, to be honest, but... Man, I don't think we need to do another evil chamber. Uh, once this finishes and we get some more hydros, I'll be ready to go. But uh, firebacks are really gonna ruin our day. All right, more hydros, and we need hydros to combat the. the um, Fire bass and other things. Holy, or did I say as early? As, I don't know. I'm, apparently, my commentary isn't there yet. It's too early on a Saturday morning, but it's not even that early. It's 11:50. We only have 10 more minutes of morning, and not morning is like oh, it's sad. You know, morning for a loss. No, 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 no. But I think that was obvious given the context. Uh, yeah, and now I'm like thinking about it. So it's like we have the Zerg campaign, we have the Protoss campaign, and then we have three more campaigns after this. So I have about almost 60, I'll have 58 missions to record, I think overall. So that's like two months worth of content, which is pretty exciting, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. But that being said, like these missions do take time. Like this is already at the 11 minute mark. All right, Carapace, oh and Speed's almost done. Might as well wait for that. And I think we're just gonna roll them afterwards. Should be a good time. And and that's the shit. I've literally just sat at my base talking about, you know, my day, my plans. Which I don't know how interesting that is on the commentary front. I'm hoping the payoff is worth it though. Like I just want to just roll these suckers. Okay, well, those Marines were very underwhelming. And yeah, we're running on minerals too, so we might need to take the bait. Oh, okay, we have that? All right. All right, send the boys. This should be enough to uh, easily overwhelm them. I hope they don't have cloak. No, they don't. Oh yeah, easy. Yeah, no, Spark doesn't even do well against the Zergen, so they just demand them. All right, well, that was a pretty decently easy first mission. Again, I don't think the original StarCraft is going to throw any missions where I have to work very hard for it. Whereas I know for Brood War, there's a couple missions where I have to be like, oh boy. Hey, you guys can destroy the supply depots. And is that another expansion we can take? I think so. Which, I mean, we can take it, but we don't need it. And how about you guys? Is there anything else you can do here? I think that's everything. Congratulations, we are victorious. So that, that's going to end the first mission. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time.